So this video is the practice questions for the AP Physics exam for the topic of direct current and circuits. And it can also be used as practice for the IB and GCSE exams. So for the first question, a wire made of brass and a wire made of silver have the same length. But the diameter of the brass wire is four times the diameter of the silver wire. The resistivity of brass is five times that of silver. So if RB denotes the resistance of brass and RS that of silver, which of the following is true? So we want to find the ratio between Rb and Rs. So the resistance of any material is equal to the resistivity times the length over the cross-sectional area of the wire. For brass, we can denote this as B. The resistivity of brass is 5 times that of silver, so we write 5 rho S times L. And the cross-sectional area of the wire is the area of a circle which is pi diameter over 2 square. So this is the cross-sectional area of brass and the diameter is 4 times that of silver and this is equal to 4 square times the cross-sectional area of silver. And so AB is equal to 4 square AS, which means RB is equal to 5 over 16 RS. So the answer is A. So for the second question, for an ohmic conductor, doubling the voltage without changing the resistance will cause the current to. So using Ohm's law, I is equal to V over R. This implies that increasing the voltage by a factor of 2 will also cause the current I to increase by a factor of 2 because they are directly proportional. And so the answer is D. So for the third question, if a 60 watt light bulb operates at a voltage of 120 volt, what is the resistance of the bulb? So using the equation, the power is equal to V square over R. So the resistance is equal to V square over P, which is 120 volt square over 60 watts. And this is equal to 240 ohms. And so the answer is C. So for question 4, a battery whose electromotive force is 40 volts has an internal resistance of 5 ohms. So if this battery is connected to a 15 ohm resistor, what will the voltage drop across R be? So the current through the circuit is equal to the electromotive force over R plus R. So the battery is a voltage force and it provides a potential difference known as an electromotive force. And this potential difference drives the flow of charge in the circuit. But the electromotive force is not actually a force, it is just a name, but it is work done per unit charge. So it is potential difference and the unit is volts. But this name is used to distinguish this potential difference from any other potential difference in the circuit. Because this potential difference is the one provided by the battery. And so I is equal to 40 volts over 5 ohm plus 15 ohm equal to 2 amperes. And so the voltage drop across the resistance R is given by V is equal to IR. So equal to 2 amperes times 15 ohms and this gives 30 volts. And the answer is B. So for question 5, determine the equivalent resistance between points A and B. So these two resistances are in parallel and are equivalent to a single resistance of 3 ohms. And this is because 1 over 12 plus 1 over 4 is equal to 1 over 3. And so the equivalent resistance is 3 ohm. Then this 3 ohm resistor is in series with this one. And both will have an equivalent resistance of 6 ohms. And now this 6 ohm resistor is in parallel with this one. And their equivalent is given by 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 equal to 1 over 2. And so the overall equivalent resistance between points A and B is equal to 2 ohms. And the answer is E. So for question 6, three identical light bulbs are connected to a source of electromotive force, as shown in the diagram. What will happen if the middle bulb burns out? So if each of the identical bulbs has a resistance R, then the current through each bulb is equal to E over R. And this is unchanged if the middle bulb burns out, because this is a parallel circuit. But what will change is the total amount of current provided by the battery. So the answer is D, the light intensity of the other two bulbs will remain the same. So for question 7, what is the voltage drop across the 12 ohm resistor in the portion of the circuit shown above? So these three parallel resistors are equivalent to a single 2 ohm resistor. 
because 1 over 8 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 is equal to 1 over 2 ohm and so the equivalent resistance is 2 ohm and then this 2 ohm is in series with this one and the equivalence of these two is 2 ohm plus 2 ohm equal 4 ohms and so we now have these two parallel resistors and so three times as much current will flow through this equivalent resistor in the top branch as through the parallel 12 ohm resistance and so now 9 amperes will flow through this one and 3 amperes will flow through this bottom branch and so the voltage drop across the 12 ohm resistor is given by V equal IR equal to 3 amperes times 12 ohm equal to 36 volts and note that it is the same voltage drop in the upper branch because the two are in parallel and the voltage drop here is 9 amperes times 4 ohm equal to 36 volts and so the answer is B. So for question 8, what is the current through the 8 ohm resistor in the circuit shown above? So since these two points A and B are grounded, they have the same potential, let's call it 0. So traveling from B to A across the battery, the potential increases by 24 volts. So it must decrease by 24 volts across the 8 ohm resistor. And so the current is equal to voltage over resistance equal to 24 volts over 8 ohm equal to 3 amperes. And so the answer is E. And note here that this is kind of a trick question when you see this complicated figure, but we are actually only focusing on this part. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.